In this video, let us solve a problem based on a graph of linear polynomial. So we've got a problem here which says draw the graph of the polynomial f of x equals 2x minus 5. Also find the coordinates of the point where it crosses x-axis. Well, before we get into the problem, this, this is a pretty straightforward and simple problem. I'll just clear this thing up for you. What is f of x equals 2x minus 5? It can be anything. It just says this means function of x. That means this whole thing is dependent on x. This is going to come as the value of x. If you put 1 here, you're going to get a negative 3 here. If you're going to put 2 here, you're going to get a negative 1. If you're going to put a 3 here, you're going to get 1 here. So what it says is you, you can name this anything. You can name it y or whatever that is. But that is a function of x. It is dependent. It is depending on x. It is not independent of x. It is dependent of x. So that is why it's called a function of x. So that is what it means. So let us quickly uh, find the solutions. Now, if you want to draw, you know that the linear polynomial is nothing but it is a straight line, right? So for a straight line, you just need two points. So let us quickly find out two solutions for this equation. Let's see, there's a solution box here. So if you plug in some value for x, you're going to get something for y, right? So if you plug in 1 in the place of x, you're going to get minus 3 in the place of y. If you're going to plug in 4 in the place of x, you're going to get 3 in the place of y because 2 times 4 is 8, 8 minus 5 is 3. You have these set of points, you just have to plot the graph for this, that's all. So now let us plot it quickly. So here is the y-axis and here is the x-axis. So here is the origin and we have x, o, x dash and we have y, o, y dash. Right, so let us quickly mark the points. The maximum is 4 and the minimum is negative 3 or 1, right? So Four. So yeah, we can definitely draw a graph with this because that's the maximum values that we've got. So the first point is one comma minus three. X is one. Y is minus three. So here it is. So we're gonna get you know the point is gonna be here. The second point is y x is four and y is three. So four comma three. So we get somewhere you know need to coincide and I think it should be here. Yeah. So this is what it is. So let us join this now. Let's join these points. So yeah, this is the line that we are looking at. So this line represents the equation. Let's say f of x is y. So y equals 2x minus 5. So that is what this line represents. Represents this equation. Now on a, another question is, it says find the coordinates of the point where it crosses the x-axis. So it crosses the x-axis here, right? Somewhere here. So we need to find the coordinates of the point. x-axis is somewhere like 2.6. And the y-axis is 0 because the y-axis is 0, right? So it's not going, it's not on top. The y-axis on the x-axis is 0. It doesn't have any intercept at all. So the coordinates is uh, somewhere like, say, let's keep it 2.5, comma, 0. So the, those are the coordinates. Yes, if you do it accurately, you're going to get 2.5, comma, 0. So that is the coordinates of the point where the line crosses the x-axis. So yeah, here we are. So what we've done is we've drawn the graph of the given equation and also we've also found the coordinates of the point where it crosses the x-axis. So this is what it is to plot a curve of or plot a graph of linear polynomial. So I'll see you in the forthcoming video with a problem based on a graph of quadratic polynomial.